Hi guys, this is Jason Zack from Nathaniel School of Music. In this lesson, I'm going to give you an improvisation challenge or an exercise series which will hopefully motivate you to create your own patterns and improvise, which is basically to play music spontaneously with some kind of grounding, with some kind of ground rules, but then on your own, organically making patterns on the fly, so to speak. For this to work, I've tried to define the exercise as clearly as possible, but yet give you a lot of freedom to, to grow and come up with your own stuff spontaneously and otherwise. You could even do this with simple maths. And the patterns which we have for you will be notated on our Patreon page. You can head over there and download yourself a PDF copy. You can even download a MIDI file and import it into a player. And this will also have my handwritten notes, not just for this lesson, but a lot of other lessons, hundreds of them. Uh, every one of our YouTube videos in the last at least five years is supplemented on Patreon. So do give it a check and let us know what you think. Before we look at the right hand, the left hand is going to do something very, very static. You're not going to improvise in the left hand, right? So usually when we improvise, there will be some rules or the other. For example, if you improvise over a chord progression, the chord progression is the same, right? You, you, you have pretty much the same chords. Um, the tempo will be the same. So some things will be the same. Some things will not be the same. So the thing which is going to be static also for the purpose of improving our hand coordination and independence along the way would be let's do the minor pentatonic in the left hand. So the way the lesson is structured will have the minor pentatonic scale running ascending and descending in the left hand while the right hand is going to improvise Initially, not so freely because I'll notate a few patterns primarily to build up a hand coordination, but it will incrementally allow you to do your own thing. Okay, so we'll gradually take the right hand using small note groupings of three and four and create some awesome music, which hopefully you're going to enjoy in the right hand, De improving our hand independence, our improvisation knowledge and the right hand will be on the minor scale the minor pentatonic scale so we'll break this down in our notes before we get started it'll be great if you could consider hitting that subscribe button and turning on the bell icon for regular notifications let's get cracking so the left hand would basically be c minor pentatonic up and down ascending and descending as i've told you let me just help you with the fingering I'm just using all the five fingers, of course, but it's a little bit of a tricky scale if you don't follow a couple of things which I'm going to tell you. Get your keyboards out and play along. It'll be, I'll encourage that. Don't watch it and then play. Try to get it out. Maybe you want to pause the video and get your keyboards out and play along with me. So left hand goes, you see this wrist motion is very important for overall hand control and also ergonomics to just make your hand relaxed I'm moving my hand I'm not sticking my hand in one spot and this also gives me some good speed so why am I going in and out is because the thumb has to hit the B flat right anyway I have to do that now one op option would be to play like this this is going to annoy the elbow. It's going to just cramp up the whole hand. You feel like you're running out of room. So move in and out and also curve your thumb while you hit the B flat. That is important. Let's do that slowly. One E and a two E. I'm counting this in terms of 16th notes. You'll see it notated as well, wherein we E and a two E and a three E and a four E. So if I do two rounds, ascending and descending, I'll finish a bar of four by four, right? One E and a two E and a three and a four E and a takadimi takadjunu takadimi takadjunu ta. Chakadum takadum. So this is going to be ringing or lingering on for this entire lesson. By the end of this lesson, you have to communicate, you have to chat with people in your house, friends. Maybe you should take your keyboard to your office for meetings and just do this in the meeting. Chat, do, fight. I don't know what you want to do, but it has to be with only with this pattern while you interact with people, talk, 
cook no, i wouldn't recommend cooking but still so you get the idea you have to do this and create a very instinctive approach now the right hand to get things started let's first break down a scale we'll use since we are on the minor pentatonic in the left let's do something similar to minor in the right and build a bigger scale so a seven note scale built out of the five note pentatonic which is 1 3 flat 4 5 and 7 flat those are the degrees of the pentatonic so if you want to practice the minor pentatonic on other keys feel free e flat e f g a and so on and so forth right so you feel free to practice it on other keys and the right hand is going to a take a seven note uh, scale from this pentatonic so a good seven note scale to consider or a couple of them would be the natural minor scale which is a major scale with a flat 3 a flat 6 and a flat 7 it's a natural minor you could also do the dorian scale which is a major scale with a flat 3 natural 6 with respect to minor flat 7 you can decide which one you want whether you want the dorian or the whether you want that more sadder aeolian mode or the natural minor or the more the more braver miss mysterious dorian scale okay so we don't have to bother about that at the current moment because we are just going to take three note patterns so our first mission is to take just the first three notes of the scale namely c d and e flat okay they are the first three notes whichever minor scale even the harmonic minor scale will have c d and e flat as the first three notes this continues running in the left and the right hand will slowly but surely do some patterns the first pattern would be pum 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 so from the top you're going to go down so we go tan 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 there we go what's happening there quaver quaver crotch it quaver quaver quarter note maybe a bit tricky to get your two hands going so i'd advise you to slow it down and figure out exactly where the interaction points are between the two hands so once you finish playing it slowly develop some confidence go a bit faster and then you need to develop some enjoyment as well with enjoyment you need to take yourself away from the piano you need to distance yourself and just enjoy what you're doing right and ideally don't talk while you're playing this as i'm doing right now which is pretty tricky actually so the first exercise is quaver quaver crotch it quaver quaver crotch it short short long short short you can even do reverse those notes or jumble them following the same rhythm pattern you will gain the same level of in independence so you will not have a problem coordinating if you jumble the notes because the hits are the same hit points so we've done short short long now let's do long short short that will be a crotchet and two quavers feel free to explore within these three notes and their patterns maybe re ga sa re ga sa re ga sa ga re sa ga re sa ga re sa you can even get a bit ambitious from here or adventurous and play the same rhythm pattern over other notes of this particular bigger scale so ga re sa ni da pa ma ga re sa sa ga re ma ga re ni da okay and i'm 
singing the swaras <coughs> completely optional but i'd encourage you to sing something you know tare rom tare that's our second pattern and just very briefly the first pattern just to get you to contrast that second pattern long short short long short short okay okay now moving on to some semi quavers we can try maybe this one little quicker so we count it as one e and a two e and a one e and a two one e and a two gare sa gare sa we can also move around gare sa magare paga sa pare ga re ga sa nida pa magare so i sometimes do this to just practice the swaras since the rhythm i don't have to bother about i just have to bother about the pitches and uh, identifying or recognizing the intervals correctly okay let's move on let's now try tum taram long short short so that's quaver semi quaver two semi quavers poses a different technical challenge as you can see it points are different and each of them have their own beauty you could say so the first one ba ba bum tak tak tara rum now tam te rum tak tak tum te rum let's move forward so tara tam ta tu ru ta the longer ones in the middle now one e and a two e and a two e to the one e and a two e three e and If you think about these are all binary permutations so you have four four slots and you're saying play three plays and one don't play so that could be the first one i showed you tick 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 x tick 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 x tick 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 x x meaning there's no hit there right then you could do tick x tick tick there we go tick x tick tick then can do something like a uh, tick tick x tick so are all binary permutations if you if you have three ones and one zero right so what's the remaining one zero one 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 but in a binary way that will be quite like that and you can combine you can do maybe in one bar only you can do two of them tam tero tam tero or tam tero tere to maybe tam tero tere tam tam tero tere ra that or maybe tere ro tere pa i like this also bring in some thirds so there are two kinds of thirds on the piano and in music in general you could look at an upper third just to spice it up these are diatonic thirds so you can see my notes to get a good uh, mapping of all your uh, these are i would call these as upper thirds or uh, tenor thirds as we call it in a choir context and you can even do these wider thirds which is taking the thirds and moving them down which are wider you can even do you can do an alto thirds which is lower so you you get the idea you can do thirds to spice it up and you can obviously change the notes combine that it's going tararam tat pararam tararam 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 okay 
now I'm getting carried away. You get the idea. So these are binary permutations using just, for a start, just Gersa or C D E flat. Now one more pattern before we journey forward to four note groupings. I have one more three note grouping. I like this rhythm pattern. It'll push your independence, and it's also very popular. You'll you'll recognize it right away. We call this as the Thresio grouping. Very popular. I like that minor third for fun. Okay, and all this with the left hand continuing its job of doing that pentatonic up and down. So. We've done some nice three note patterns and the job for you is pretty simple. Two beats are there. How many three note patterns can you come up with? Practice them, leave them in the comments for others to learn. You can even record it on Instagram and tag either me or Nathaniel School or both and we'll be happy to check it out and also reshare. So let's now move on to four note patterns. The fourth note for this demonstration would be B flat. So I'm generally doing it in I like that order. E flat B, B flat C. It breaks the linearity. So okay. Let's bring back our uh, old faithful left hand. Pattern one is four semi quavers and chill out for a beat. Pretty easy, I think. You can even do. To get to get started, you can just do four quavers. Then there we go. Then let's do the next pattern, which is given there. That is one. Let's clap it out first. Things are getting a bit tricky, so let's clap and then play. One e and a two e and one e and a two e and one e and a two e and. It's a sixteenth note phrasing. One e and a two e and. First, do it with a simple pulse. I would guess before you get that pentatonic going. Once you're comfortable, bring the pentatonic scale into the party. Sing. Feel the beats. Okay, moving on. Next pattern would be. One e and two e. One e and two. Slow that a bit. Quite like this. Another grouping of four. So, next pattern. So, it's, it's going from very fast to little uh, slower and then very slow. Ending with a crotchet at the two and the four. Couple more like this. E and a two E and three E and. So just to take you out of the semi quaver domain, I have this last pattern for you, which uses triplets, namely eighth note triplets. So two and so you count it first of all. One and a two and a three and let's do this. The challenge is, if you can take up the challenge, keep the semi quavers in the left hand. There you go. Okay, 
get the triplet and the semi quaver in the left hand as you can see it's a bit tricky i'm not able to talk and do this but that's the idea you can try that out and just like the three note groupings try and build your own patterns over the four note groupings and let us know in the comments what you've come up with and as always you can record it and share it with us on your instagram or that's about it i guess yeah so hope you found the lesson useful and may this be the start of many more let us know in the comments if you found it useful and i'll be happy to kind of curate a few other improvisational challenges for you if you're finding this useful and if it helps your playing let us know and it will motivate us and inspire us to come up with a lot more like this there's a lot more from where this has come from and i'm sure you'll also agree that there's a lot more we can go from here uh, we can do five note groupings we can do all sorts of things we can start getting into some melodic and harmonic stuff along the way Right guys thanks a ton for watching the lesson and don't forget to follow us on Patreon where you can get the handwritten notes you can get the staff notation and midi files and if you'd like to learn music in a structured manner head over to nathanielschool.com you can write to our course advisor by filling up a simple form shooting an email or even a whatsapp message cheers and catch you in the next one